Vodden Grid makes it really easy to show data from a JSON array. To do that, we're going to create a Vodden Grid element. In the element, we're going to specify the columns that we're using. In this case, we're going to be working with user data. So we're going to specify the paths to the properties. So we're going to define the first name, the last name, the email, and the phone number. Once we have the grid element set up, we're going to create a script tag. At this point, the bottom grid element might not be initialized yet. So what we're going to do is create a listener for the web components ready function. This will get called when the web component is actually set up. Once that happens, we're going to get a handle to the grid by just doing a query selector on the element. And then we're going to do a Ajax call to a backend where we actually store the data. Once the call finishes, we will uh, populate the grid items with the JSON that we just received from the server. And there we have it. We have all the data visible, and you can see that all the column names got generated automatically based on the names that we specified in our columns.